scripture reading this morning will come from the book of 1 Corinthians, the uh, fourth chapter, excuse me, the excuse me for just a minute, okay, the fifth chapter, 2 Corinthians, oh, uh, big part? No, I'm, I'm looking at uh, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Uh, fifth chapter, verse 17. All right. Excuse me, but sometimes my eyes ain't what they used to be. But they're going to get better. Everybody got it? Amen. Amen. Verse 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes. Uh, old, things. old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. And all things are of God. Who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Uh -huh. Reading to you from 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse, uh, verse, uh, excuse me, 17 and 14, excuse me, verse 18, I'm sorry, verse 18 and 17 and 18. Amen. Amen. Reverend Hill, uh, Miller will come at this time. Amen. And give us the prayer. Shall we pray? Amen. Our Father and our God, before we ask of anything, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for a brand new day. Yeah. One we never seen before. Uh -huh. But one we can rejoice in. Yeah. And my Father God, we thank you for this church building. Yeah. For you giving us a place to come. Yeah. After all our toils and snares. Yeah. To worship you. We thank you most of all because light didn't cancel us out. But grace gave us favor. We, we know we haven't been as good as we ought to be. But we thank you for your word. Your word has taught us if we put our hands in your hands. 
you'll make everything all right. That's what's be, that must be what the proverb meant when it said trust in the Lord. Not with some, but with all thy heart. And lean not to our own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge you. And then say you might, but it said you shall direct our path. Lord, we thank you because we realize that this world is in the handbasket of hell. Everywhere we turn, something wrong is going yeah. on. Yeah. All right. Everywhere we turn, some mother is losing yeah. a child. Yeah. Some father is losing a child. Everywhere we turn, crime and danger up high. Yeah. But we found out this morning, grace will cover us yeah. when trouble won't. Grace will cover us even in the midst of traveling on dangerous highways. Grace, unmerited favor has covered us and we say thank you. We came to be loud because you've been so good. You wasn't silent when you woke us up. So we don't plan to be silent in the sanctuary. Because of what you said, we came to give you glory. And we came to give you praise. Uh We thank you for every member. Every member that's present and every member online. And we pray, Lord God, that one day those who are online will come back to the sanctuary to shake hands with us. Because you said, forsake not the assembly. So here we are. Yes, sir. Here we are. We thank you. Thank you. For our pastor. Yes. Thank you for his vision. Thank you uh-huh. for his leadership. Thank you most of all for him yielding unto you. Yes. That we might be made the better. Yeah. And we thank you for everyone that's here. Uh-huh. Now will you have your own way? Will you just have thy own way? We pray, Lord God, for the bereaved right now. We pray especially for our brother and sister Harris that you know what they're going through. You know the hurts is inside. You know the pain. But, Lord, you are a healer. You're a burden bearer. They are our are brothers. They are sisters. We love them, but we know you love them also. Cover them now. Cover the family. Then we pray for our sister Houston. Pray that that family, Lord God, will continue to stand strong in this bereaved moment. But not only them, but all over the world, somebody is grieving. Somebody is grieving. They don't even know you. Somebody is grieving. We came to stand in gap for them. That you hold them up. Hold them up, man. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let us all say amen again. Amen. Amen again. Amen. And amen again. Thank you, brother. Reverend Miller, for the prayer. We're going to ask our announcement curry to come at this time. Where did she go? Giving all praises to God, to Pastor McCormick, and all ministers on the roster. Today is Sunday, July 16th, 2023. These are the announcements for today and week. On Sundays uh, at 9.30, we are having Sunday school. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, at this time, uh, we're asking all visitors to please stand. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> 
Welcome. Here at the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, there is a stand invitation to you each week. Pastor Joseph McCormick and members of the Light are glad that you have chosen to worship with us today. We trust that something may be said or done that will strengthen your life. May God be with you and come back to visit with us again. Amen. Amen. Sister Alma Harvey Shannon announcing clerk, Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, pastor. Amen. Amen. Let us govern ourselves according to the announcements. Amen. This time we will hear from our pastor. Amen. 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 Good morning, New Light. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Good to be here in the house of the Lord one more time. Good to be home. Amen. 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 I want to say a warm welcome to those who are here in person. Uh, glad to have you, sir. Uh, hopefully, we've got some info hopefully we'll get some information from you Amen. and we'll be in contact with you. Glad Amen. that you're here with us. We know that you had plenty of opportunity to stop by any other church besides New Light, but you chose to stop by here. And Amen. we are forever grateful. Amen. Yes. Amen. As well as for those who are watching us digitally or virtually, we thank you for tuning in and uh, being Amen. with us this morning. Amen. 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 Uh, observations. Um, thank you, New Light, for uh, allowing me to go to the uh, E.K. Bailey conference. Um, Amen. Uh, you supported me to go. I was going to go, but you supported me to go. And, yeah. and that is, and I appreciate that. That was a uh, eye opener, right. uh, really an eye opener. Got a lot of good information. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I have some information here that I want to give to somebody uh, with regard to um, with regard to our cash app, uh, as well as our. Uh, Opportunities to provide for those who want to contribute to our uh, to our church. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. Givelify is another one, uh, as well as Chris Pay. Uh, I saw those that were there at the conference, and uh, and they talked about why those other organizations versus Cash App. And so uh, I, I know from for many churches we are using Cash App, uh, but let us consider this uh, as we go forward. Uh, and it's uh, good information. Uh, and like I said, uh, there was a lot of uh, good uh, uh, information there at the uh, at the conference. Good preaching. I don't know if y'all saw that. I tried to try to dial up and tune up so that people would see it. But uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sitting there watching it, you know, and I'm you know, at the same time. But it was tough uh, because it was these these were some these were some juggernauts, uh, giants in the ministry. And, uh, and they were preaching, and uh, as a matter of fact, I was going to try to skip that last night um, and uh, go see my grandson on Wednesday, uh, and then I was able to see him earlier in the day so that I didn't have to worry about missing that, that last night, and I'm so glad I did not miss that last night. Amen. It, it did not disappoint, and it was amen. very, very good. Thank you so much for your support. Amen, amen. Uh, yesterday, we had a youth outing over at River Rock Park, right. water park. Um, I, River Rock, water, Rock and Rip, well, okay. At the water park. At the water park. <laughs> and and uh, I tell you, I saw some youth come out of there. They looked like they had a time of their life. And uh, they, had, they jumped all over it and in it, whatever they could do. And so uh, it, it was good. I got a chance to take a picture with them. Uh, it was so many people there that they weren't letting people in unless people were coming out. Uh, and so I couldn't get in like I wanted to get in. So, but but uh, uh, it was good to see them. It was good that they had a great time. I understand they enjoyed themselves thoroughly. Uh, and uh, and so thank you to the youth department Amen. for all that you do to keep our youth engaged, Amen. to keep them excited about church, to keep them excited about what we're doing, and, and, and then to also uh, give them some reward for all their work. Uh, and, and as they come to Sunday school, they learn about, uh, about God just like we do. Amen? Amen? So much. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Harris and your team. We appreciate you so much. Amen. Still doing the uh, uh, doing the Bibles for homeless. Uh, I still got to get some information to the church so that we can do that. I want to be able to do that 
and uh, with, you know, ordered that from the church Amen. versus through Amen. me. And so I've got to give you some information on that, okay? Um, let me see. I was, you know, I know that this week is Bible study is St. John's, and I was thinking that uh, we would have Bible study. But I don't want to do that. I want to be in support of St. John's. Uh, so let's, let's just not have Bible study this Wednesday. Okay. And we'll pick it up uh, next time, okay? Amen. For those who want to go to St. John's, I support going to St. John's. Amen. Okay? Uh, our moderator, moderator Mays, and all of them that who are going to be there starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is the musical, and they go throughout the week uh, with various activities uh, that are going to be occurring. So let us uh, govern ourselves accordingly. Let us support um, uh, St. John's District Association. Amen. Uh, it's, not that, it's not that I don't want to teach. I do. I'm, I'm excited about it, but uh, yeah. I also want to be, be, uh, be mindful and respectful. Of, 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 of the organization that we are part of. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let's, uh, so Wednesday is, is canceled. Okay? Wednesday is canceled. July the 29th, uh, which is um, the funeral for, funeral service for Sister Houston, 11 o'clock here at New Life. July 29th, Saturday, 11 o'clock for Sister Houston's, her mother's funeral services will be on that particular, uh, that particular day. Fifth Sunday board will be July the 30th, 3 p.m. Uh, and that'll be at, uh, I can't think of the name of the church. Friendly, Friendly Will. Friendly Will uh, Baptist Church down in South Austin. Amen. 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 Uh, let us, uh, you know, we have a lot of folks who are mourning the loss of loved ones. Amen. And we want to be mindful about that. We also want to be mindful. We have one uh, person that is in, that is ill. That's ill. Uh, that we know him very well, and that's John Brackens. John is ill, and uh, I'm going to see him shortly after I leave here. And so, I uh, just wanted to just lift him up in prayer, uh, and so that we can be uh, supportive of him, uh, but also in support of all those who have had who've lost persons and, and throughout the week and that type Amen. of thing. John is still with us and that type of thing. He's just ill. But I wanted to just make sure that we'll continue to pray Amen. for each other. Amen. Amen. For each other. For each other. For each for each other. Amen. 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 All righty. I think that is all that I have uh, at this point in time. Uh, let us, uh, at this point in time, we always want to make sure we pray for our um, those folks who are in leadership positions. Amen. President, vice president, senate. House, federal staff, the governors, the cabinet, uh, the Senate and House and state staff, the county seat, as well as the county court, uh, commissioner's court and the county staff, city mayor and the city council and city staff, all sheriff's departments and uh, police departments everywhere, uh, any badged officer anywhere in on the globe, I say. Amen. Anywhere in this world. Amen. And then as uh, was reminded of us this morning, Brother uh, uh, Deacon Jefferson talked about us about the, the, the lady who got, uh, we don't know, but we, who, who, who came up missing um, on an Atlanta highway. Uh, and um, uh, we just have so much going on. The founder? Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Lord have mercy. Lord, that is a blessing in and of itself. Indeed, a lot of folks. It, it was all over my Facebook too, and so uh, that's 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 wonderful. But it also shows it, it's just an indication of just how vulnerable people are in public. In, in public. You know, it's wide open in public, yeah. and how people can come up missing just like that. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we're so glad that she got, she was found, and that yeah. she's in the hospital and been being cared for, and hopefully in recovery. Yeah. And uh, but just just be mindful, Amen. just be mindful of each other and where we're going and all and all that. Amen. 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 Let us. Uh, let me also do uh, let me, uh, recite this. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, says the Lord of hosts, 
If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to, to uh, room enough to receive it. This is Malachi three and ten. Also, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. That is Philippians four and six. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Amen. Father, we thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord, for another day's journey. Uh -huh. Dear Lord, you are the creator. We are the created. Uh -huh. And dear Lord, we want you to know that we need you. Yes. We need you each and every day. Uh -huh. Each and every hour. Yes. Each and every minute. Yes. Each and every second. Yes. Each and every millisecond. Yes. Matter of fact, there's not a time when we don't need you. In this case of this young lady being uh, uh, disappearing is a, is a perfect example of what we have to deal with in this lifetime. Yes. You know, and so the, 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 we, it, it, it brings to us to mind that we are, we are vulnerable even in, if we have company around or people yes. around in public, dear Lord. But we, we are so thankful, dear Lord, that you are watching everything. Yes. You, you know all, you see all, yes. and dear Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for, your, for the fact that you have your hands on New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church. Dear Lord, this is a good church, Heavenly Father. A good church, Heavenly Father. With good people, Heavenly Father. We thank you, dear Lord, for the fact that you've allowed us to come to a church. You know, there's some people who can't come to church, Heavenly Father. They couldn't go to church if they wanted to. Somewhere in the world, they are... They're, 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 they're having to stay at home because yeah. of, of oppression or, uh, or some other issue of people yeah. not wanting them to, to worship you, Lord. Yeah. We, dear Lord, we have the freedom to be able to do that. Yeah. Dear Lord, and I wish and pray, dear Lord, that more will come and more will do that. Heavenly yeah. Father. Since we're in a country that's free and a country that allow, allows us to be able to worship, Heavenly yeah. Father. And we want to worship a God that we know who's, who's, who loves us. Dear Lord, we know you love us, Heavenly Father. Uh -huh. Dear Lord, we know you love us. Dear Lord, we have folks who are who are burdened with uh, uh -huh. with depression, burdened with other issues, yeah. physical illness. Dear Lord, they've lost lost uh, loved ones. Yeah. Dear Lord, we ask you, Lord, to be to be with them. Yes, be with them where they, wherever they are, yeah. and they're, whatever situation that there is. Yeah. Dear Lord, we, we have a one that's in the hospital right now. Dear Lord. Yeah. Be with him, Heavenly Father. Be with him and his family, Heavenly Father. And let him know that he's, 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 you're right by his side. You're right by his side. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Dear Lord, there's so much that you do that we don't even recognize. There's so much that you do that we have forgotten. There's so much that you do that we, that we don't even know that you're going to do it yet again. Lord, you woke us up this morning, put us on a, in our right minds, yeah. got us moving in the right direction, and we wound up here in your house. Yeah. So we say thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord, for the, allowing yeah. us to be here, Heavenly Father. Yeah. It's not just happenstance that we're here. It's because you woke us up. Yeah. And you got us along our way. Yeah. And you made sure that we were able to get here. Yeah. And so we say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, thank you for all that you do. Thank you. thank you, dear Lord, for everybody that's here. Thank you for our guests that are here, yeah. those who are in person and those who are watching us virtually. Yeah. Dear Lord, help them, dear Lord. Yeah. Help them. We hope that something might be said today yeah. that will be a blessing to them yeah. as they go about their way, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Dear Lord, we thank you, Lord, we, 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 for those who are going to contribute, dear Lord, yeah. to our, 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 our coffers, dear Lord, tithes and offerings, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Dear, thank you, Lord, for those who thank wanted you. to and who will. Those who did not have it, dear Lord, but still wanted to. Yeah. And then those who have not yet thought of it as being obedient to do so. Yeah. Dear Lord, we, have, we just leave us all in your care. Please, Lord. For what you ask for is just a tenth. Yeah. It's just a tenth. Yeah. It is just a tenth. Yeah. It is just a tenth. Yeah. It is just a tenth. Yeah. Just a tenth. Yeah. Lord have mercy. If we just looked at just peace of mind, yes. if we just looked at peace of mind, uh -huh. that alone yes. should help Heavenly Father. Yes. Dear Lord, we say thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, all of it. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. This, this, is, this will be the time our ushers will come forward and will uh, help us with our offering at this point in time. Amen. Amen. This is a time of offering. Everybody can contribute. Everybody can participate. Amen. 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 Thank you for your reminder. All righty.
trouble will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light of heaven amen trouble will be over trouble will be over trouble will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light of heaven amen crying will be over amen crying will be over amen crying will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light of heaven amen 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 trouble will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light of heaven amen 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 trouble will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light of heaven amen I saw the light I saw the light I saw it shining can you see the light I saw it from the lighthouse shining all over it's shining in my mind it's shining in my heart it's shining in my walk we made Jesus I saw the light it was a bright light it was the light of Jesus it shined the light right in the night I saw the light I saw the light trouble will be over when I see trouble will be over trouble will be over when I see Jesus I saw the light Amen. I saw the light of heaven. I saw the light of heaven. I saw the light of heaven. I saw the light of heaven.
God will supply amen. all of our needs. Amen. 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 Can you hear me? Okay. Amen. amen. All right. All right. All right. Amen, amen. 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 I am, um, God has led me right back to Matthew 5, verse 14 through 16. Some of you are saying, well, we just have to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes passages are chock full amen. of messages. Amen. And I want to make sure we bleed the text in this one. Because it speaks to something that is very important in our lives. Amen. Yes, sir. New light, we ought to be paying attention to this one. Amen. Because we are the light. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. And it reads this wise. Again, Matthew 5, verse 14 through 16, for those who are still looking. Matthew 5, verse 14 through 16. Reads this wise, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. 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 That ends the reading of the word. Uh, today I want to tag the text. How do you shine for Jesus? All right. All right. Good book. Yes, sir. All right. How? Oh, man. All right. How do you shine yeah. for Jesus? How, how do you? How do you shine? How do you shine? Last time we looked at this, we were talking about what do you say you are? All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. What do you say you are? And we found out that. Uh, there's a difference in what Jesus says mm -hmm. you and I are versus what we think and act like mm. we are. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There's a difference. Every Amen. Day. Although we might behave differently, Jesus designates us as in Scripture as the light of the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We also understand that there is uh, the prestige and the shining. Mm. There's prestige and the shining. Amen. Which, means, which means we are instructed to shine forth into the darkness of human depravity. Yeah. And then the, uh, you know, it means also that this is a Christ appointed position mm -hmm. and it's a compliment to us. It's a compliment to us. Uh, and also, we, we talked about the, the precepts for shining. Okay? Last time we talked about the precepts. And, and this is a, a, a meaning that there are some behavioral rules uh -huh. and guidelines for the appointment. Mm -hmm. right. And that there is also, lastly, then there is a place for the shining. All right. Uh -huh. Place. That means we must project our light yeah. wherever mankind is located. All right. And that we must remember that mankind can wind up into some interesting places. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good places yeah. and not so good places. Right. 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 But it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Because just as light. We are to do and be what light is. All right. And light goes everywhere. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 
Bottom line, Jesus is the light, and we are to be like him in every aspect of our being, and that includes shining. Amen. Okay? Now that we know what we are, let us explore how we do what we are supposed to do. Amen. And then determine that determine that there, uh, determine the pitfalls and look at the pitfalls because there are some. Yes, sir. And then further define the purpose of shining for Jesus. Mm. My first point here today is that uh, there is a pattern for the shining. Right. A pattern for the shining. Uh, it says uh, in verse, in verse uh, 14, it says, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You see a city far off, kind of set up, right. can't be hid. You see it. Amen. You see it from far off, right? Right, right. Uh, but it says also, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Mm. That's not what that's for. Oh, no. That's not a good purpose. That's not a, that's not that's not the right behavior. Okay. Right. Uh, but they put it on a candlestick, and it giveth. Light unto all that are where? In the house. Uh -huh. All that are in the house. Amen. Christ gives two patterns to emphasize that the believer is to shine. It says conspicuously. That's a big word, but I, 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 I break it down and it says they are to shine in a clearly visible way. Shine so I can see you. And if I need to touch you, shine so I can touch you. I need to find out, I need, I need to know where you are. So it's so over this shine. Uh, it says, uh, uh, the city on the hill. It says the city on the hill is more visible than a city uh, anywhere else. You know? Um, Christians should shine so that uh, one would have no doubt that they are Christians. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Work it. Work it. We ought to shine. That's right. Shine brightly. Yeah. Where there's no doubt. No doubt. In right. anybody's mind as to who we are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we ought to shine. Yeah. Uh, and it says then it talks about the candle in the house. Well, the candlestick is our uh, next term. It means uh, like on a lampstand. It means um, um the candle is to be put on a lampstand where it can be, it can shed light, okay, shed light mm -hmm. to the entire room. All right. Right? Thus the light must be visible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your Christian profession, yeah, yeah, yeah. our Christian profession where, where ought to be visible. We should, people should not be looking at us and just wonder what it is. Right, 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 right. right. What they all about. Oh God, they must have, you know. Should, it should be fairly plain. Uh -huh. Should be fairly clear. Amen. Your Christian profession must show in an obvious way yeah. if you are to have a good testimony for Christ. Amen. Oh if you are to have a good testimony for Christ. Ah, mm. then, 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 then there's a second point here. The second point here, there are some pitfalls along the way. Amen. To shining. Right. I talked about last time. I talked about the benefits of shining. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. There are benefits to shining, mm -hmm. but there are also some pitfalls. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 Don't be, don't be afraid of the pitfalls. Right. That I'm just trying to make sure that we all know what the pitfalls are yeah. so that we can plan ourselves accordingly. All right? There are some pitfalls. It says put under, put it under a bushel. That's, that's what happens in a pitfall. We, we, we hide it. There are some reasons why the shining of the saints is not up to par, at least in our lives. Right. Sometimes our shining is not at the bar. Uh -huh. Y'all probably don't know this. Oh, you probably don't remember this, but I, I, I remember growing up in the country, and my parents had around the house, they had what is called 
oil lamps. Y'all know about oil lamps. Y'all don't, this is medication. No, 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 I know. She said, I know now. Don't tell me I don't know. <laughs> oil lamps. Oil lamps. And, 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 and those, are, those were there because you just never know when the power was going to go out or something like that, you know. You just never know. You know, and just remember that back in Jesus' day, that was what they had. Amen. Oil lamps. Maybe a wick. You know, with some with some oil, you know, and, the, and it was wicked up the up the wick, uh-huh. you know, and so you light that, and that was the light that was lighting the room, yeah. right? Yeah. And sometimes those of us we had to study by the oil lamp. Uh-huh. Many a preacher in the old days had to prepare by the oil lamp, because yeah. that's all they had. Yeah. That's all they had. See, yeah. and so so we have to understand that. Uh, we shouldn't, we have to re- remember that we shouldn't, that there's some pitfalls. There's some pitfalls. Uh-huh. There's some pitfalls. First of all, there's this thing called, uh, that refers to money uh, or business or commerce. Uh, it says um, the bushel represents uh, a grain measure which is found in every household back in that day. A grain measure. Okay, that's how you measure grain. It was part of the commerce of the day. Okay, okay? it's part of how you uh, how you measure things, and what you get for what you measured out. Yeah, uh-huh. part of the commerce, right? Mm-hmm. Guess what? Mm-hmm. Ma- materialism. All right. Materialism uh-huh. can prevent our light from shining. Oh, yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Materialism, materialism can prevent our lights from shining. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we get too much materialism, our life life gets dim. Dim. You remember that lamp? Every time you got to go to that lamp every now and then and take the globe off and kind of clean it on the inside. Watch it. Clean it on the inside, right? So that you can get the full illumination of the light coming off the wick. Right? Yes. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, we're forgetting and, 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 and it's dim. And mm-hmm. uh, the, the, the light doesn't come out and it illuminates the whole room. Maybe just a, good, just a good portion of the room, but not the whole room. And that's like our lives. Mm-hmm. If we're not steeped in the word of God, come on now. if we're not submerging ourselves and, and praying on a regular basis, guess what? We will get dim. We will get them, we will look them, we'll walk them, we'll talk them, we'll, we'll do a lot of things that are dim fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 we got we gotta we gotta watch the material. So 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 uh, then it talks about in uh, Luke eight uh, and sixteen, uh, talks about uh, something about you know putting it putting it under, under a bed. Uh, that's 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 just pure laziness. Uh-huh. Slothfulness, as they call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's the problem. It's slothfulness. Uh-huh. Put it on the wrong. Put it on the wrong. The wrong thing. Uh-huh. Who, who, would, who would do? But you know, some people. Some people. They, they talk about you know adding uh, the word basement. Uh-huh. Mm, the word basement. Mm. Some people. Yeah, that's right. That's low. That's low. Some people live defiled lives. The, their lives are below oh, yeah. what the gospel says it ought to be. Yeah. 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 Their lives are in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of up here playing where everybody can see. Yeah. You know, we like when we want to do something. <laughs> when Dusty want to do something like, you know. <laughs> he, he, he gravitates to the dark side. He, he gravitates to the dog side, yeah, you know, yeah. and, 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 and so we like to do that because that's that's easy for us, and we right. we we kind of we can kind of get our mischief going yeah. in in the dog side. You see what I'm saying? But the foul life is nothing but a sinful life. Come on, man. All right, all right. 
It's nothing but a sinful, and we must keep ourselves above the sinful life. Right. Then there's this one tragedy that, uh, that we always seem to fall into, and this is real easy to fall into. It's real easy because it's really within our own self. And so no one, with no one looking but just ourselves, we can get there real quick. Brother Roberts talked about it this morning. Uh, we, there's this thing called um, uh, being selfish with our life. We can be selfish with our life. Right. Yeah. People, yeah. people fail to understand that light is not given for the benefit of itself. That's right. And, Brother Shield, if I've got light, my light is not just for me. That's right. 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 Yes. right. But if I think that way, then I got a problem. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> My light should be for you too. Yeah. Yeah. Your light should be for me too. Yeah. And that's the way it ought to be. It ought to be an exchange. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And when you have enough of an exchange, guess what? You light up the room. Yeah. You illuminate. Yeah. And guess what? Other people catch fire. <laughs> Other people get their light on too. Because they know the way to go now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so that selfishness thing can be there. Light shares, light shines for the benefit of others. Light is expected to shine at every place where Christians are, can be found. Amen. When Jesus referred to a city set on a hill, he had reference to the responsibility of disciples to give light to people at a distance. Amen. I ought to be, you ought to see my light yeah. at a distance. You don't even know me, but you ought to see my light. Yeah. Even before we've met. Come on, man. <laughs> we haven't, we don't we even have a relationship yet. <laughs> but I can see yes. the, light. Yes. the light. And I can see the path. Yes. Because I can see your life the way you're living your life. All right. Because of the light that you're shining. Yes. And so therefore I can follow the path that you're setting. Yes. And I can get a little light myself. People ought to see your light from afar off. Uh -huh. yeah. That's a Christian over there. I, I know that's a Christian. Yes. I can tell. Yes. We ought to be able to do that. Amen. Disciples have the responsibility of touching and influencing the lives of people even before they develop a relationship with them. Okay? Even before. Um, then it's got this last one here. I, I, ooh, I just I had to talks about putting it under a basket or a bushel, but on a lampstand. It says, it is very likely that Jesus was talking here about disciples letting their light shine at home. Amen. At home. Uh -huh. At home. Uh -huh. yeah. Not just in, in public. Uh -huh. Who gonna go outside, shine your light outside, and then get, on, get, get back home, and then you cut your light off. You're in it, you're in sin, you're out of sin, you're in sin, you're out of sin. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's a two step, but something, something's wrong with that. Something's wrong with that. Something's wrong with that. Maybe, maybe they call that the sin two step, or two step, I don't know. But, but something's wrong with that. Something's wrong with that. You will notice in the close of verse 15 that. The light on the lampstand gives light to all who were in the house. Yes. If there is any place where people ought to know we are saved, uh -huh. it is in the home. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Please do not omit home. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you are anything like my parents. My parents told me that charity begins home. And then spreads abroad. Yes, it does. If you get it right at home, then you can then you can, then you can spread it abroad, right? Right. 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 Mm. So, so the light should be shining 
uh, of this the, of the disciples should be shining at home, just as important as the light shining on the hill. Right. Yes. Uh, let me, can I go deeper with that? Come on. You, you mind if I go deeper? Okay. For example, I, I believe and many believe, contend that many of our children are going astray mm -hmm. uh -huh. because there is no light at home. There is no light on at home. They leave a dark home and go out into a dark world. Disciples who give no light are of no value to the kingdom if they can't give light at home. Ah, if, 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 if a father is, is in the home, depending on his condition as a kingdom man, uh, he may have checked out years ago. Spiritually. He may have checked out years ago. Checked out from his wife, checked out from his children. Both are, both are wrong behaviors. When we are responsible for giving light to the children we bring in this world. Amen. Both of them are, respons are, 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 are irresponsible behaviors. Same thing for the mother. If the mother's in the home, depending on her condition, as a kingdom woman, she may have checked out uh, years ago, checked out from her husband, checked out from her kids, both are wrong behaviors. Yeah. The world awaits our children's entry into the vast darkness oh, yeah. of evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. The world is, a, is waiting. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, the vast evil that's out Evil thinking, uh, evil intent, evil actions, uh, evil alluring. Which means I'm alluring somebody to come over here to do this evil over here. There's all that going on. And our children have to go out coming from someplace with no light. To go into some place that's already dark yeah. with nothing to help. Yeah. Nothing to help them. Right. They don't know the difference. Uh -huh. Nothing to help them. And we leave them, what? Vulnerable yeah. to evil uh -huh. that will prey upon them Amen. because of who they are. Amen. It, it, it's a sad case. If Satan, right. if Satan can catch children early, uh, they will be fighting an enemy all of their lives from an overrun and an overwhelmed position. Uh -huh. They don't stand a chance because they have little to fight with from an unseen enemy. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it. The only chance they got is when we pray. Yeah. When we pray for them. Yeah. And, 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 and when we have light in the home, yeah. when we have Bible study in the home, we need to crack the Bible and get at least one verse yeah. and talk about, talk about a, a willing Jesus who said, I've come yes. so they may have life yeah. everlasting. Amen. They may have life abundantly. Amen. So that they know. Uh -huh. but, 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 but so many don't know. Yeah. And they, so they go out into the world and, and, and then they fall prey uh -huh. to, to divers' expectations. Right. Yeah. 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 They fall prey yeah. and they're fighting. They're, they're, it's, it's like shadow boxing. They're shadow boxing, they're fighting something they can't see. Yeah. You know, you, at, at one time, you were all there. Yeah. We were fighting something we didn't see. Yeah. We couldn't see. We didn't know why people were looking at us the way they were looking at us. Yeah. Why they had an opinion about that. Yeah. Why they had a perspective about our behavior. Yeah. Not until we got visited by Ooh, Christ Jesus. Yeah. And then we found that there was a difference in and who we were, yeah. ah, and that our light is supposed to shine yeah. versus our light being dim all the time. Yeah. We be in dark, dark places all the time yeah. with dark behavior, you know, dark attitude, you know, dark opinions, you know, dark expectations, yeah. all that. Everything was dark. Yeah. But we thought we were right. Uh, we thought we was it. Yeah. All that in a bag of chips. Uh -huh. Lord have mercy. How, how, how wrong, how, how wrong we were. How wrong we were. Third point. 
the purpose in the other shining. It says that they may see your good works uh -huh. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Uh -huh. The purpose of the shining is twofold. Number one, it is to enlighten. They are to make sure, they are to see your good works. This is not to shine in such a way to exalt you. Let, let's get it straight. This is not designed. You know how we are. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I did that. I did that. It was me. Me, I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me the credit. I did that. Yeah. You did good. Oh, yeah. That was, that was, you didn't see me, girl. You didn't see me. It's all right. Designed to ex exalt us. That's right. No, no. It, 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 it's, to, it's, it's, it's to enlighten people uh -huh. on what righteousness is. Uh -huh. The world needs examples of correct living. You're right. And correct living is not being boastful. Right. Right. Correct living is not putting you, you know, uh, pointing at yourself, trying to get the credit for something that you did or didn't do. Because right. had you not woken up that morning. You wouldn't even be able to say that. Yeah. You wouldn't even be able to tell that lie. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Secondly, then it, 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 it is to exalt. Okay? Two bold. It is to exalt that they may what? Glorify your Father, which is in heaven. This is the primary purpose of for shining. Whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. You are exalting the Father. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's who you exalt. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you're in the business of wanting to take all the credit for yourself, oh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for you. It's going to be kind of rough for you. It's going to be kind of rough. Sin and sinful lives dishonors God. But good behavior, inappropriate behavior, Honors God. Amen. A well lit person uh -huh. that's shining brightly All right. honors God. Amen. But a dimly lit person yeah. who thinks dimly, walks dimly, acts dimly, is dimly, Woo! that doesn't honor God. Right. That honors the style of Satan. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. Uh -huh. That's what it does. So, so, so we have to understand it is easy to see that we live in, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. We are continually reminded that we live in a what, fallen world by yeah. uh, uh, our own sinful tendencies, by the newspaper headlines, uh, the, uh, the, the things that are being reported on, on TV, horrifying crimes, kidnappings, missing people, uh, people treating people wrong, adults treating children wrong. Yeah. Children treating adults wrong, yeah. all of that. Uh, we've come accustomed to that. Uh -huh. It's part of the fabric of our society. Uh -huh. It's getting to the point that it doesn't even ruffle our feathers anymore. Because uh -huh. we're so used to it happening on such a regular basis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, but against the backdrop of darkness, follows, followers of Jesus are told to be lights to the world. Uh -huh. We are told to be lights in the world. Uh -huh. Your conduct often reflects a dim and distorted image of him sometimes when we don't do it right. All right. All right. That's when we don't do it right. That's what Paul warned us against uh, when he was uh, talking about complaining and being uh, and, 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 and arguing. That, that's not the right behavior. Yeah. That's in Philippians 2 4 and 14. It urged us to what? put our salvation to work with reverence for God. Yeah. Quit complaining. Quit talking about this and that and the other. Quit complaining. We may wonder why the, op the apostles didn't mention something more scandalous than complaining. Well, we complain all the time. All right. We do more complaining than, than uh, anything else. Right. I, mean, I mean, we complain when we're not even trying to complain. Right. That, that's why he said that. Right. It, it, it comes out so quickly. <laughs> it, it, I mean, you know, before we know it, right. it's a complaint already. We done, yeah. we done said three or four. By the time. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it is disruptive. But relatively few of us are guilty of headline sins. 
Thank, thank goodness. Few of us are guilty of the headlines. Here. <laughs> headlines. Headlines. Here. Brother Roberts talked about uh, telling the lie. Uh -huh. When, you know, we get, we say, well, we, you know, we, we get at the corner and the person's begging for funds and, and we say, oh, I don't have anything, but then we figure out we got, oh my goodness, I said, I didn't have it and it's in my pocket and, you know, and, and, and the light changed from speed on, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we did not do that one right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't do that one. Right. And, 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 and so so lying is just lying is a lying is a part of it, you know. It's a part of sin. Lying is sin. Yeah, just just plain lie. You know, lies, 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 flies, flies, and flies. That's, that's all associated with that. So say it. Paul knew that we need to be spiritually alert to evil and nip it in the bud. Amen. Yeah. By heeding these exhortations, we will become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault. Then we will be sure to shine as light in the dark world. Uh -huh. Darkness seems so overpowering to us. Uh -huh. uh, in our world or uh, today, help us, O oh Lord, by uh, be, being with we You sung earlier this morning, talking about this little light of mine. Uh -huh. I'm going to let it shine. Uh -huh. How often y'all sing that to yourself? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, I mean, you don't have to be in the choir to sing that. Uh -huh. I'll, just give, I'll just let you know. You don't have to be in the choir to sing that one. Uh -huh. This little light of mine, uh -huh. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everybody ought to be able to say that one. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you, know, you may not be able to have a tune in the bucket, but you can say that one. You ought to be able to say that with this little light of mine. Yes. It may be little in stature, but that's all right. We can see it. We can see it. It's bright. It's illuminating. We ought to be about that. We ought to be about that. It's the, it's the life behind our words that makes our testimony ring true. The light behind our words. The life and the light behind our words that makes our testimony ring true. All right. Three aspects we talked about today. We talked about the pattern for shining. You know, and then we talked about the, you know, what prevents us from shining. And then we talk about the purpose for shining. But can we go back and talk about that, you know, we talked about that, that lampshade uh, to make sure that, uh, uh, the, 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 to understand that the lampshade sometimes gets dim. Yeah. It gets dim with soot and smoke. It's, it, it gets dim with, 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 with just dust when it's, when it's not even used. When, when it's not even you. Yeah. When the last time you had your turn your light on. <laughs> what was, I mean, was it? I mean, last week or was it last month? Oh. Oh. And, it's, and that globe is collecting dust yeah. because you ain't using it. And, 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 and God got you on a collision course with somebody who needs to see you. And, and you ain't got yours turned on. I mean, what are you doing? Uh, what, you know, what, 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 where are we going? Uh, there is one question you might ask, though, which is, I understand Christians are light in the world and that we are not to hide our light from the world, but is there any way we can assure that we stay bright, clear, beacons of light? Cliff Hughes said, a man returning from a journey brought his wife a matchbox. That would glow in the dark. All right. After he gave it to her, she turned out the lights in the room. Okay. But it could not be seen. Both thought that they had been cheated out of their money. Mm. Then the wife noticed some French words on the box and asked her friend to translate them for her. Uh -huh. The inscription said, if you want me to shine in the light, Keep me, excuse me, if you want me to shine in the night, mm -hmm. keep me in the light. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, if you want me to shine in the night, keep me in the light. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? So it is with us, we must expose ourselves to Jesus. Yeah. The light yeah. in yeah. his word. Yeah. Spend time in prayer. Yeah. Soaking up his rays. Yeah. 
we must be about all of this so that we can shine. You want to shine in the morning. And you want to shine midday. And you want to shine in the evening. And you want to shine from afar off. You want to be able to shine close up and personal. You want to be able to shine with a heavenly glow that says they've been with God. You want to be able to know that you have done all that there is to shine. And so you're going to let your light shine. You ought to shine from a hilltop. You ought to shine from a valley of death. You ought, you, you ought to shine when, when, uh, when you sing uh, this little light of mine, I, I'm going to let it shine. Shine then too. Let people see, your, see where you're coming. Shine when you're depressed. Shine when you're, when you're feeling low. Shine when you're feeling melancholy. How you, you ought to shine then. Why not? Because you are blessed to be able to shine. That's why you ought to shine. Huh? You ought to, you ought to shine uh, on, on, on a Monday. Shine on a Tuesday. Shine on a Wednesday. Shine on a Thursday. Shine on a Friday. Shine on a Saturday. Shine on a Sunday. Shine in the office. Shine in the living room. Shine in the kitchen. Shine downtown in the grocery store. It doesn't matter. Shine. 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 We ought to be shining. For three years, Jesus Christ shined upon and lit this world. He lit it, gave his only life he had. And he did it for the fact that we needed life more abundantly. He did it for that reason. And for his trouble, guess what? They had the, dark, the audacity to put him on the cross. They had the audacity to, to, to kill him. They are, I mean, they, they, and, and they didn't want his light to shine. They didn't want his light to shine. Uh-huh. But his light was going to shine anyway. Uh-huh. His light was going to shine anyway. And they put it between two thieves so his, his light would be dim. Uh-huh. They tried, that's what they tried to do. But, but that, didn't, that, that, that didn't matter either, right? Uh-huh. Uh, but to, so he was there. He, he laid his head between the rocks of his shoulder. Yeah. And they said, oh, yeah, the light is out now. Uh-huh. The light is out now. Uh-huh. We can go party now. Let's go to the dark. Yeah. Go to the dark side and we can party. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but, but on that on that Friday, he stayed there. On that Saturday, he stayed there. But early on Sunday morning, early on Sunday morning, God got Jesus up. I'm going to let this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And it's shining today. It's been shining each and every day. Since Resurrection Day, it's been shining. Since Crucifixion Day, it's been shining. It's been shining for men and women and children so they can see the path and see where to go and see how we are to be. We are the light of the world. And we ought to be and do just like light does. Amen. 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 The doors of the church open. You may be wondering how to how to get your light to shine. We can help you with that. Being a member of New Light Everybody's Baptist Church can assist you in that effort. All you have to do is become a member. That's it. Become a member of, uh, of this great church. We have these two chairs that are being placed out here before you. And for those who want to come and, and give their life to, to, to the Lord, that's how, we, that's how we start this process of getting your light to shine if it's not shining already. You may be wanting to be baptized. Well, if you want to be baptized, I'd love to be able to do that. Love to be able to do that. So just let me know. Give us a call. Come down now for baptism, whatever it may be. But that's a way to, to do this. And then if you may be in town and you may be just visiting, and you're only going to be here for a certain minute, amount of time, and you want some covering, though, some prayer covering, or some you want some love, well, you can get some love here at New Light Everything's about the church. All right? And so we can do that for you. While they're singing, you you know, consider in your heart what you are and what you want to be. Hopefully, you consider yourselves as the light and that you can can join us and be a part of our congregation. As they're singing, consider where you are and where you want to be. Amen? Amen.
for your assistance in providing these chairs. This is not the only time that you can come. You can come at any point in time amen. to be a member of New Light Ebenezer Baptist Church. Amen. 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 with somebody before you leave, somebody you don't know, somebody you do know. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding great joy, will to the only wise God our Savior be a glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. And we sing together. Mm -hmm. 